In this video, I'm going to put the 2020 HP Omen 15 and the Lenovo Legion 5i head to head. I've run these two laptops through 14 creator focused benchmarks covering video editing in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, motion design, graphic design, photo editing, 3D modeling, and more. Let's get rocking! <laughs> If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're going to find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. Also, if you're curious about the availability and exact pricing of either of these laptops as we're heading through the video, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do make a purchase through that link, we'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Let's talk about the look of these two laptops. Both have very similar appearances. The Legion 5i with its matte green and iridescent Legion badge, and the HP Omen with its deep matte gray top cover and iridescent shape. Regarding which one I would feel more comfortable in a client meeting, I would choose either one of these with confidence. Concerning the build quality, each laptop stands out in its own right. The HP Omen with its plastic top cover, bottom cover, side panels, and aluminum keyboard deck, and the Legion 5i with its all plastic build and soft touch keyboard deck. I'm a big fan of the HP Omen's redesign, especially since they added the aluminum keyboard deck. This is a nice touch. Regarding durability, these laptops are going to be about the same. The aluminum keyboard deck is nice on the HP Omen, but I don't think it will lead to that much of an improvement on how durable the laptop will be over, say, the soft touch plastic material over the long run. Overall, I give the HP Omen and the Legion 5i a tie on build quality. The port selection on these two laptops is quite different. The HP Omen stole my heart with its built-in SD card reader. It's one of the only gaming laptops that still features this nifty little port for video editors and photographers. As I open the lid on each of these laptops, I'm able to do so with one hand. The hinges are smooth and strong. There's only a slight bit of screen flex that is equally present on the HP Omen and the Legion 5i. I would rate the hinges as a tiebreaker. Both are solid and sturdy. Before we move on to this screen quality, I want to discuss the ventilation of these two laptops. Both the HP Omen and the Legion 5i have generous vents for cooling. They both have vents on the bottom cover and behind the keyboard deck. However, the HP Omen has an extra vent on the top of the keyboard deck. The Legion 5i has vents on both side panels, whereas the HP Omen has a vent only on the right side panel. So I guess all in all, it all evens out. You can see here in the 4K export thermal benchmarks that the HP Omen beats out the Legion 5i by only two degrees Celsius during the 4K export out of Premiere Pro. I like how evenly matched these laptops are. Makes the decision so much easier for choosing each one, right? <laughs> How noisy are these fans and how well do they cool the laptop during the benchmark test coming up later in the video? Well, at idle, the Legion 5i kicks on to about 30 to 35 decibels, whereas the HP Omen had no fan kick on at idle. But during web browsing, it kicked up to about 45 decibels. The Legion 5i ramped up to about 35 to 40 decibels while web browsing. During the Premiere Pro 4K export, the Legion 5i ramps up to about 51 decibels and the HP Omen about 59 decibels. During the DaVinci Resolve 4K export, the fans on the Legion 5i were at 51 decibels and the HP Omen at 65 decibels. Now, for the Photoshop benchmark test, the Legion 5i was about 35 to 45 decibels and the HP Omen ran about 45 to 61 decibels, depending on the task conducted in that benchmark. All right, so we see that the HP Omen is definitely a good bit louder, um, but it runs slightly cooler. Now to check how well the fans did cooling the components during these different tests, here are the benchmark results. All right, now that we have covered those details, let's get into the screen quality. The Legion 5i comes with a 15.6 inch full HD display that can reach 144 Hertz. And at full brightness, it can reach 350 nits with a color gamut range of 99% sRGB, 80% Adobe RGB, and 80% DCI-P3. For a gaming laptop, this is a fantastic screen and the HP Omen is just as impressive. The HP Omen comes with a 15.6 inch full HD display that can reach 144 Hertz. At Full brightness, it can reach 320 nits with a color gamut range of 91% sRGB, 74% Adobe RGB, and 74% DCI-P3. The Ninja 5i comes with a numpad, whereas the HP Omen does not. Personally, I'm completely fine with this detail because I have never used a numpad on a computer I have ever owned. Um, I know for gaming, a lot of people use numpads, but for me personally, it does not apply. Both keyboards have a soft touch material on the top of the keys, complemented by a firm snappy key press and excellent key travel. I will say both keyboards are worthy
worthy of your choice, but I will personally lean towards the HP Omen as it feels more comfortable beneath my fingers and I like the layout a little bit more. Both the HP Omen and the Legion 5i come with all-in-one trackpads with the click built in. Since reviewing the HP Omen, it has received my commendation for having the best gaming laptop trackpad. It has an excellent map finish that feels slightly tacky beneath my fingers as I drag my fingers across it. To me, this feels great while conducting video edits, designing in Adobe's design suite, and more. It is also very quiet and just an overall great experience. Have a listen. You'll be happy to know that if you're needing to jump on any virtual meetings, that either computer will work for that. Each comes with a 720p webcam. Concerning the on-the-go capability of these two laptops, the HP Omen weighs in at 5.43 pounds at a thickness of 0.89 inches thick, whereas the Lenovo Legion 5i weighs in at 5.1 pounds and at a thickness of 0.93 inches thick. So, Legion 5i is a little bit thicker. Concerning battery life, the HP Omen will get roughly five to six hours of web browsing battery life and about three to four hours of design and video editing battery life out of its 70.9 watt hour battery. Whereas the Legion 5i will get roughly five to six hours of web browsing battery life and about three to four hours of design and video editing battery life out of its 57.5 watt hour battery. If you're enjoying this video and getting some value, gently, ever so gently, press down on that like button and let me know in the comment section how you plan on using this laptop. If you want more content like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. On to the main event, the performance benchmarking test of the HP Omen and the Legion 5i. The HP Omen I'm reviewing comes with the Ryzen 7 4800H with 8 cores and 16 threads, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660Ti with 6 gigs of VRAM, 16 gigs of RAM, and 256 gig SSD. Whereas the Lenovo Legion 5i comes with the i7-10750H with 6 cores and 12 threads, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660Ti with 6 gigs of VRAM, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 512 gig SSD. Jumping right into the 3D modeling test, let's take a look and see how these two laptops handle Autodesk and a few other programs. The HP Omen in Autodesk 3DS Max scored a 131. The Legion 5i a 141. The HP Omen in Autodesk Maya scored a 155, whereas the Legion 5i a 173. PTC Creo scored a 116 for the HP Omen and a 127 for the Legion 5i. The HP Omen scored a solid work score of 69, and the Legion 5i scored a solid work score of 77. 3D modeling was a close battle, with both laptops nearly performing at the same level on every test, but the Legion 5i winning out a few points ahead on each one. So it's proof that more cores and more threads don't always equal more performance. So you got to put these two laptops head to head to see what they're capable of. Moving on to design, I am using the Puget Systems After Effects benchmark and the After Effects render benchmark. Per the chart, you can see that the HP Omen pulled slightly ahead of the Legion 5i, but not by much. The HP Omen scored a 744 over the Legion 5i's 679. So then again, just because one laptop performs really well in, say, Photoshop or 3D modeling doesn't mean that it's going to outperform it in After Effects as well. The test may flip, and here's a perfect example of that. The HP Omen holds the lead in After Effects again by scoring a 498 over the Legion 5i's 430. Just before moving on to the video editing test, let's take a look to see how well these laptops will perform in Adobe's design suite by benchmarking them with the Puget Systems Photoshop benchmark. Both laptops perform well, capturing an equally suitable middle of the chart spot, making each of these laptops a great fit for Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. But do note that the HP Omen had a slightly higher score of 579, coming in behind the Legion 5i with a score of 571. Now onto my favorite benchmarking test, video editing. First, I'm going to start off with a playback test. For this test, I'm going to use a nine minute 4K clip, add some motion graphics, and then play it back in the timeline at full quality. This clip contains 16,177 frames in total, with 7,240 of those frames being motion graphics. The HP Omen saw a the HP Omen did really well in 4K playback, but we saw drop frame rates as follows. At full quality, 1,185. At half quality, 126. And at fourth quality, zero. During this test, the Lenovo Legion 5i saw dropped frame rates as follows. At full quality, 159. At half quality, six. And at fourth quality, zero. As you can see, this is one area that the Legion 5i shows off a bit by providing smoother full quality playback. 
Considering that I was only running Premiere Pro during these tests, you may see slightly higher drop frame rates while multitasking, but you can easily switch to half or fourth quality to continue to get smooth playback in the timeline. Concerning the rendering of motion design effects, I was able to render out 7,240 frames in just 3 minutes and 45 seconds using the HP Omen, and only a bit slower at 5 minutes and 2 seconds with the Legion 5i. Both are impressive times for that render test, but as you see, the HP Omen was slightly faster. Moving on to the 4K export test, I'm going to take a 9 minute 4K clip, place it into Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve then export both out at 1080p and 4K YouTube settings. Do note that for DaVinci Resolve, I'm using the free version. For the HP Omen, Premiere Pro 4K to 4K export took 4 minutes and 13 seconds. For the Legion 5i, Premiere Pro 4K to 4K took 5 minutes and 13 seconds. For the HP Omen Premiere Pro 4K to 1080p, it took 3 minutes and 14 seconds, and for the Legion 5i, it took 4 minutes and 40 seconds. For the DaVinci Resolve 4K to 4K export, the HP Omen took 9 minutes and 3 seconds. The Legion 5i took 11 minutes and 7 seconds. For the DaVinci Resolve 4K to 1080p, the HP Omen took 4 minutes and 20 seconds, and the Legion 5i matched it at 4 minutes and 20 seconds, exactly, which is pretty crazy. Now let's take a look at the component usage of each of these laptops during the key benchmark tests. And if you're curious if the Ryzen 7 kicks the pants off of the i7-10750H for multi-core performance, here are the Benchmark and Cinebench R20 tests. If you're looking for a high performance Ryzen laptop with an aluminum keyboard deck, great cooling performance, and one of the best keyboard decks and trackpads I have ever used with a screen that has excellent color accuracy, then you should be taking a look at the HP Omen. However, if you're looking for a handsome matte green laptop with a comfortable soft touch keyboard deck that performs cool and fairly quiet while getting great benchmark results in Photoshop, video editing, 3D modeling, and motion design combined with a bright color accurate screen, then you want to snag the Legion 5i. If you're curious about the exact pricing or the availability of these two models, head down in the description below and click one of those links. And remember, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you, and that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. If you want more videos about the HP Omen or the Lenovo Legion 5i, click or tap the screen over here. Otherwise, keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next video.